You are an incredibly successful scientist, engineer, architect, artist, designer. You've mentored a lot of successful people. Can you give advice to young people listening to this of how to have a successful career and uh, how to have a successful life? Look, I, I think there's this beautiful line in Sheltering Sky. How many times have you seen a full moon? And... Um, in your life and actually took the time to ingest and in explore and reflect upon the full moon, probably 20, I believe he says. Um, I, I spend time with a full moon. I take my time with a full moon and I pay attention to a full moon. And I think paying attention to the seasons and taking time to appreciate um, the little things, the simple things, is what makes a meaningful life. Uh, I, I was very lucky to have had, you know, to have grown up in a home that um, taught me this way of being. My, my, my parents, my grandmother, who played a very important role in, in my growing up, um, and and that ability to pay attention and to be present is so 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 I could not emphasize it uh, enough. It's so crucial. Um, and be grateful. And be grateful. Yeah. I think gratitude and presence, um, appreciation are really um, the, the, the most important things in life. If you could take a short tangent about your grandmother, who's played a big role in your life, what, uh, what do you remember? What, what lessons have you learned from her? She had this blanket that she would give me every time I came back from school and say, you know, do your homework here and, and meet with your friends here. And it was always in her garden. And her garden, in my mind, was ginormous. But when I, you know, last I went there uh, and saw the site, which has now become the site for another tall building, it was a, a tiny, tiny little garden garden um that that to me seemed so large when when I was um growing up because it it had everything it had um it had fig trees it had olive trees it had mushrooms it had the blanket I would do my homework there it, it was everything and I n needed nothing nothing else and um and and that was my garden of Eden that was my childhood being and she taught me you know you know, we would lie on the blanket and look at the clouds and reflect upon the shapes of the clouds and study the shapes of the plants. And there was a lot of wonder mm -hmm. in that childhood um, with her. And and she taught me the the importance of wonder uh, in in sort of in an eternal childhood and and living uh, adulthood as as a child and. And so I, I'm very, very grateful for that. I think it, it is the sense of wonder, um, the uh, um, speaking up was always something that she adhered to, to speak up your truth, uh, to be straightforward, um, to be positive. That These are things that I also got from my mom. Um, and for my mom, the sense of humor. She she had the best sense of humor of uh, that I, that I could think of, and and was just um, just a joy to be around. And 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 my father taught me everything. My father taught me everything I know. My mom taught me everything I feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. My grandma taught me everything I incite. Well, I, I see the sense of wonder that just carries through everything you do. So, I uh, I think you would you make your grandmother proud. Uh, well, what about advice for how to have a career? So you've had a very interesting career mm -hmm. and a successful career, but not not an easy one. You took you took a few leaps. I did take a few leaps, and they were uncomfortable. My father and I'll never um, forget. Uh, <laughs> I think we were like listening to a Rolling Stones song in the kitchen and my dad, uh, who's actually born in Boston, he's American, um, mm -hmm. he said, uh, 
I, I, I started to have sort of these second thoughts about continuing my education in Israel. And I wanted to, you know, go, I, I was on my way to London to the Architectural Association to do my diploma studies there. And he looked at me and he said, get out of here, kiddo. You got to get out of here. And, you know, you've outgrown where, where you're at. You need to, you, know, you need to move forward. Another thing he had taught me, um, the feeling of discomfort as you as you say, the feeling of loneliness and discomfort is 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 imperative to growth. Uh, growth is painful. Period. Any form of growth is difficult and painful. Birth is difficult and painful. Um, and and it is really really important to place yourself in situations of discomfort. I like to be in a room where everyone in the room is more intelligent than me. I like to be in those in that kind of state where the people that I surround myself with are orders of magnitude um, more intelligent than I am. And I can say that that is true of all of my team members. And that's the intellectual discomfort that I feed off of. The same is true for, for physical exertion. Um, you you got to put yourself in these uncomfortable um, situations in order to grow, in order to find comfort. Um, and then on the other hand is, is love, um, is finding, finding love, uh, and finding that, um, you know, that human, this other human that complements you and that makes you a better version, uh, of the one you are and even of the one you want to be but with gratitude and and attention and love you, you can go so so far to the younger generation i don't speak of a career i never thought of um my work as my career ever and there was this constant entanglement between life and work and love and longing and being and mothering it's all the same and uh I appreciate that to some people that doesn't work in their, you know, in, in their arrangement of, of will versus um, comfort uh, versus the reality. But for me, it has always worked. So I, th I think to the younger generation, I, I say, don't think of your career. A career is something that is imposed upon you. Think of your calling. That's something that's innately and directionally um, uh, moves you and it's something that transcends a career. Uh, similarly, you can think about the difference between, you know, learning versus being educated. Being educated is something that's given to you, that's external, that's being imposed, that's top down imposed. This learning is something that comes from within. It's also the difference between joy and happiness. Um, many times I'm sad and I'm still joyous. And it's very, very important to understand the difference between these externally perceived success uh, paths and internally driven value-based you know ways of being in the world and we together when when we combine all of these you know all of these uh, uh, the broken puzzle <laughs> let's say of 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 substance and um, vulnerability we get this bigger gestalt this wondrous world of a future that is 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 peaceful that is uh um that you know that is wholesome and that that you know that proposes or you know advocates for that kind of synergy that we've been talking about throughout well, but it's all fun <laughs> <laughs> uh well thank you for this incredible conversation thank you for all thank the work you, you're doing and i just have to say that thank you for um noticing me and listening to me you you're somebody from from just today and from our exchanges before this like there's a sense where you care about me as a human being which is which i could tell you care about other humans thank you for doing that thank you for having empathy mm -hmm. and just like um yeah really listening and noticing me that i exist so thank you for that i've been a huge fan of your work 
uh, been a huge fan of who you are as a human being. It's just an honor that you would sit with me. Thank you. Um, Thank you so and, uh, much. Lex, I feel the same way. <laughs> I'll just say the same. And I look forward to hearing the response to my job application that I've submitted. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're accepted. Oh, damn. <laughs> all, all right. We, we all speak of you all the time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Lex. Thank, Thank you. you.